When I was a 15 year old, I was sat in an electronics um, class doing my GCSE electronics. I would always be the one that was leading the way, finishing my work, going through the textbook and asking for more work. Got to the point there was nothing for me to do apart from get sent into the storeroom with a book with loads of circuit diagrams and said, go and build something. And I thought, well, this maybe is me. And all of a sudden I thought, I want to be an engineer. There was something that just took me and, and I think, looking back, did I make the right decision? I think I did. We still have things, things need to be made, things need to be designed. And unless we get the people going into these topics to, to study and to work in, then those things won't exist. It's all well and good in having a social media platform, being able to market stuff, but if you've got nothing to market, it means diddly squat. So today's kind of like the launch of it, the introduction of Green Power. So you can all remember we went to the kickoff event where we were given this brilliant kit by Siemens and we've got Alex from Siemens today. Okay, so obviously it's great that they've supported to do this because we couldn't do this without Siemens. Uh, I was a bit nervous but excited at the same time because I know that it was a hard work to build the whole thing in the space of two months, but um, I think I can do it, so yeah. It made you kind of a bit nervous, like knowing where all the parts are and what, and what their names are and like you're going to have to like fit them together and make a car. <laughs> to be honest, I, I was quite nervous when people turned up. It was the initial, hmm, what am I doing here? I don't really know what's happening. But then a couple of minutes in and we started chatting, having a mooch around the car, playing with the tools, the equipment. It, it, it really kicked off from there. You know, it surprised me. and. Uh, I'm so happy with the, the enthusiasm. Um, so I've previously lightly had exposure to Green Power and known what an amazing project it is. Uh, never really had the time or resources to get involved because there's obviously a cost element of it. Um, so, you know, I, I saw an email of an opportunity to work with Siemens um, to, you know, bring the expertise from Siemens along with some funding and then matching that funding and working with some real ambassadors so that's something that I certainly jumped at the opportunity to and got the application in straight away and was absolutely over the moon when we got it. No one really gets this opportunity to do this kind of a project. My, like my old school, we never had stuff like this, so you know, it's uh, exciting as well to see uh, different changes. I think the good thing about it is that we get this like experience to have a go at like making a car and making it look good. And I mean, if we don't win, there's always next year, we always know how to improve from that. What is the main aim of this? What are you hoping to achieve? To win, most probably, but like just to gain understanding about green power and like just to achieve what we just strive out to do. Yeah. Our main challenge is to work hard um, and create this car and win every possible challenge we can. It's going to be a hell of a journey, but we can do it. Seeing this thing here, bare bones. Amazing to see what it's going to be like in a couple of months' time when they're racing around the track. Just to get there to race is an achievement in itself. To make it to the end of the race is certainly an achievement. One of you guys has got to ride that. How do you feel about that? It looks quite uncomfortable. It'll be fun though. Have to put caution in it. <laughs> students are lacking role models. When you look at what students have as role models nowadays, it tends to be more what's seen on TV, what's seen on the news, and they're not necessarily exposed as much to role models from engineering, from STEM subjects. Um, it's about developing that role model and looking up to somebody. So hopefully over the time during this project, some of the students will look up to the role models from Siemens and from Alex and see that as, this is a person that I've had that exposure to. I've been able to you know, question them and you know, he's really knowledgeable and really helps me out. And actually, do you know what? I could see myself in that position. And I think that's what project-based learning and things like Green Power really bring is it kind of shows students those different role models and as much exposure to that I think is just the most beneficial thing ever. Everybody's yeah they're going to um, create a car but we're going to make this stand out and we're going to show everyone how different we are because we're from UTC Bolton and our school is specialised in engineering and medical and our main point is to do something that nobody else has seen so like a Green Power car but we're going to extend it even further to show what are we capable of. <laughs>